So after spending two days in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, we headed three hours north of Toronto to Owen Sound. Spent the night so we could view as much of Bruce's Peninsula as we could in 24 hours. If you don't know where Bruce's Peninsula is, it's this region right here. Believe me, I never knew this area existed either. We went in early May and surprisingly our entire day was super quiet. We didn't see too many people here. I assume this area gets insanely busy during the summer, but early May was perfect. Our first stop in Bruce's Peninsula is the Bruce's Caves. We're just here right now. We're walking towards them. Uh, no one's here because it's like early May. Um, but yeah, the whole area is going to be opening up very soon. And this is a nice little walk. Okay, so our first stop was Bruce's Caves Conservation Area. It's a short, easy walk that will take you less than a half an hour to get to. And it's totally worth stopping by if you're ever in the area. Okay, so that was a really quick hike. But here we go, Bruce's Caves. When I seen these pictures online, I knew I had to stop by and check this out. These ancient caves actually have a pretty cool backstory. The caves are named after Robert Bruce who immigrated to Canada from Scotland and purchased this land where the cave just happened to be. Throughout the late 1800s, he would set up shop and charge tourists a fee just to visit the caves. Unfortunately, someone scratched out this picture of him, but I totally imagine him just sitting around the caves while we were there. <laughs> Next, we drove about 30 minutes up the road to the community of Lion's Head in northern Bruce's Peninsula. It's a charming community, but we immediately found ourselves here. Alright, so we're continuing a little tour of Bruce's Peninsula and the uh, Lion's Head Trail. The Lion's Head Lookout Trail could probably be one of the most beautiful viewpoints of all of Ontario. Believe me, when you see this, you're definitely going to want to stop here. The trail to the viewpoint took us about an hour each way. It's pretty rocky and you can definitely twist your ankle if you're not careful. There were even some rattlesnakes in the area. But we safely made it out alive to see the ancient potholes. <laughs> we were actually pretty confused on what exactly these were when we were looking for these potholes. But these potholes took over 10,000 years to form. When you look and see how deep it is, it's actually pretty remarkable. This was the view from the top of the Lion's Head Lookout Trail. The water looked so inviting, crystal clear, and even though it was actually pretty chilly out, you could have never guessed it. The trail follows along the edge of the cliff a fair bit, but for the most part, we just found a place to relax, enjoy the view, and spent quite a bit of time admiring the area. All right, so that's a lion head trail lookout. You could spend a couple hours up here. It's absolutely beautiful, but we got a lot to see here in Bruce's Peninsula. So we're gonna keep moving on. All right, so we're in Lion's Head. You gotta check out the lighthouse. So since we were staring at the water for so long, we knew we had to get down here. <laughs> I feel like there's a pretty sweet backstory to this lighthouse, but I don't know what it is. Well down there though, the waves were pretty choppy, the boats weren't in the water yet, and from the looks of it, Lion's Head has some sort of dark sky summertime weekend only telescope or astronomy thing, which looked pretty cool, but we unfortunately couldn't verify how accurate that is. Okay, so the gem of the area, the creme de la creme of Bruce's Peninsula is Bruce's Peninsula National Park. When we were searching for things to do in Toronto, this park was mentioned and the rest is history. On this trip, we never even spent any time in Toronto. 
This park, its beaches, heights, natural beauty is somewhere every Canadian should visit at least once. All right, so first stop, we're on to Overhanging Point in Bruce's Peninsula. Okay, so we arrived in Bruce's Peninsula National Park sometime in the afternoon before realizing how much time we would have light to spend here, so we moved rather quickly. Luckily, I think we got to experience some of the best parts of Bruce's Peninsula National Park, but I'm sure we ended up missing a few things. We took some back trails so we could travel faster and arrived at Boulder Beach. Luckily, overall, everything in Bruce's Peninsula National Park, in this area anyways, was fairly close, so it wasn't too bad, time-wise. All right, so we made it. This is the overhanging point. I believe that's the second point right there. Off of the distance, we're on the first one. And you have this like cave, I'll show you. At the first real stop in Bruce's Peninsula National Park was the overhanging point. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. Two overhanging cliffs overlooking the Georgian Bay. Okay, so going down this steep, steep, dark, dirty hole here. And I uh, apparently get to the water. You can kind of see the bottom there, but I don't know. We don't have time to go down there. <laughs> Through here apparently gets you to the beach, but unfortunately, we just didn't have the time to truly explore. Yeah, there's no way we're going down there. I probably hurt myself. <laughs> so we continued on. The landscape of this entire area is so picturesque. Amazing rock formations. Holy smokes! Look at this rock. I don't know what it's holding on to. Hidden caves and turquoise blue water surrounding you. I would say the only negative aspect of Bruce's Peninsula National Park is the parking, which was almost $40. Pretty steep. But we continued on to the highlight of Bruce's Peninsula National Park, which is. The grotto, I wasn't even exactly sure what a grotto was, but it's an underwater cave. I'm sure the water's pretty cold all year round, but it would have definitely been fun to jump in just for a quick swim. If you aren't swimming near the grotto, then definitely walk five minutes and swim here at Indian Head Cove. This feels like paradise. You actually feel like you're in a tropical paradise with how beautiful it looks. So there it is, 24 hours in Bruce's Peninsula. Look at that. <laughs> so blue, no one's there. Perfect way to enjoy the rest of the day. So this is where you find a Canadian paradise. Some of the best beaches and hikes in Ontario and only a day trip from Toronto.